In this video, we're going to talk about project detail pages. <coughs> In this video, we're going to talk about project detail pages. Project detail pages are used to capture information about projects. So when you first create a project and you capture relative metadata about that project, the description, the name, the start date, that's all part of a project detail page. I'm going to show you how to create your own project detail pages to be used to capture information relative to a particular type of project. You can associate one or more enterprise project types with a project detail page. You can associate one or more project detail pages with an enterprise project type. To do this, you first create the project detail page. Well, I'm going to click on Project Detail Pages here in Server Settings. This is where we do all of our admin stuff. And we can see the out-of-the-box ones that we have here. Okay. What I'm going to do is click New and click Project Detail Page. I want to create one from scratch. That has just the information that I want to capture, plus the custom fields that I've created relative to my HR project. I'm going to call this HR details okay that's to delineate you can call it whatever you want and you can come in and rename this but what this is going to allow me to do is delineate so i know that this is just for hr details to be leveraged with my hr projects enterprise project type you have different layouts you've got left column headers header column forefathers you can see kind of how the web parts will be arranged on the page i'm just going to go for full page vertical Okay, this goes all the way down. So if you want to have more, get more creative with your web parts, you want to add custom web parts in or other web parts, you can do that using any of these different pages. If you want to keep it simple, which I recommend, just leverage the full page vertical. And I'm going to click Create. All right, and here we have a blank web part. So this is going to be my page. I'm going to click Add Web Part. And this is just like SharePoint. That's because it is SharePoint. I'm going to come down and click on Project Web App. This is all of the web parts relative to a Project Web App project detail page. And in here, I'm going to look for basic information. As you can see it allows me to see project custom fields, summary fields, and project inherent fields such as name, description, owner, etc. I'm going to click Add. So basic info within the Project Web App category. This is allowing us to add project metadata to my project detail page. Click add. There it is, basic info. Now, right now, there's nothing in there. I need to click on the little drop down and click edit web part. On the right hand side, I can click modify. This is where I'm going to see a list of all of the custom as well as all of the out of the box custom fields and not custom fields, project level fields. What I want in here to start with is name. This is going to be the name of the project. Uh, I think it's under project name. There it is. I'm going to do project ID. Maybe I want to see that. Project department. If I'm going to use that department field to delineate between HR projects versus IT projects, I'd want to add that. Let's put that in. What program? Ah, that's my custom field that I created. What about total costs? In fact, it was um, capital costs and operational costs. Let's add those in as well. You also probably want to have some standard ones that I add in every time, which is going to be the start date of the project. This will actually dynamically update the start date of your project schedule. You can also have description you can see a whole list of out-of-the-box fields here that you can leverage and you'll also be able to find any enterprise custom fields that you create. I'm keeping this really simple for the purposes of these videos but the world is your oyster. I'm going to reorganize this because it looks terrible. I'm going to have project name, start date, department, program, and then maybe I'll have description after that. We'll keep the costs kind of separate. 
What you can also do is have more than one web part on a page. So if you wanted to separate out costs, you could do that and have a separate section called costs. I'm actually going to do that and show you. So I'm going to take out my capital and operational costs. Press OK. Some of this information here, this is pure SharePoint. Do I want a title? Basic info. I'm going to call this project information. Okay, and I do want the title, so I'm going to leave it as title only and press OK. I'm going to see this basic information, project information, and the fields that I selected. I'm going to add a second web part, basic information, add, modify, edit web part, and then you're going to come in here and call this costs project costs and in here I'm going to have my operational costs and capital costs you can also have total cost or I think it's just cost which is the out of the box field which is the scheduled cost coming from the project schedule how much do we forecast this project to cost there's all kinds of other cost information here that you can have I'm just adding those three basic two of them custom one of them out of the box. You can even have baseline cost. That's always a nice one. Let's add that too. Put that just above there. All right. And we'll give it a title, project costs. We want title only, press OK. If you want to rearrange these web parts to have project information above project costs, all you need to do is again, edit web parts. So you see project costs at the top, come down to layout, See, it's currently in zone one. I'm going to put that in zone three. Press OK. So once you've reorganized your pages, you should now see project information at the top, project costs at the bottom. Great. Once I'm done, I'm going to click Stop Editing. That is my first project detail page created. So just for completeness, I'm going to go back into my enterprise project type that I created in one of the earlier videos into my HR project that I created and in here didn't click it and in here I'm going to associate my new HR project details remove this one put this at the top and we are good to go press save I've now associated that enterprise project type with a new project detail page. So whenever I create that new project, it's going to see that new project detail page. If there's an existing HR project out there and a project manager opens up an existing project, they're going to see the new updated project detail page for that HR project. So it updates it for everybody. Always be careful there if you're using any required fields that you take out of a project detail page, that project manager may not be able to update that project enterprise custom field for that project and therefore be unable to save the page. So always be careful of those required fields. Thanks very much for watching and check back in for the next video.